Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again, and for the very first time to the Farts and Craft Show, where today we are celebrating 50 episodes of Pokemon Black, Renoise, Nuzlocke. Hope you guys are all doing well. It's your host, Danjo, here, and we are still on Route 17, looking for Route 18. Um, and yeah, we're going to start this one off with a trainer battle, this guy. Whoop, I was off by one. There we go. Pokemon is riding the wave and you are riding the Pokemon, are you riding high? I mean, I'm on top of a Pokemon. Webble. Webble. Uh, steel type should be super effective, I think. He's a bug type, but I'm not too worried about that. Almost. Should be neutral? Yeah. Alright, bug or rock type? Cradilly. What the fuck is Cradilly? Oh, this guy. It's a Leap's Evolved form? Or first form? I think it's Rock and Grass? Yeah, it's Rock and Grass. It's a Leap's Evolved form. Um, yeah, Stumper should be fine against this guy. Uh, bullet Punch would be super effective, yeah. Mm. Waste of a turn, my dude. Bye bye. All right, maybe down. This just seems like it's gonna launch me to the. Yeah, I mean, kinda. If I go up here though, there's no way... yeah... <gasps> this is Route 18. I could just surf right here. Wait, for real? This is Route 18? When did it switch? I didn't encounter anything here though, because I've had a repel on the whole time. Did it tell me? Okay, repel, we're off. Question is, should I check the grass or the water? Probably the grass. Yeah, we're in Route 18. Okay, cool. Uh, I've got a good feeling about this patch right here. I don't think I had a wild encounter with him. No, we've just been doing trainer fights. Yeah, I don't... I don't think... I don't think we have. Well, either way, I'm gonna count this as, like, my first encounter in Route 18. Damn it! Fucking damn it! Not only have I already... Like, Wormadam just sucks. I 
We've already done a poke fact of the day on one of the damn two. Yeah, Wormadam does not have good stats at all. It's an evolved Pokemon, but like, I'm gonna catch it if for no other re uh, if for no other reason, just to like in case I run into one later. Can't throw in pickles. I don't have a paralysis move. I'm just gonna throw a ball, fuck it, it's in the red. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Shit catches for a while. I mean, Route 9, I got him a champ, but. The entire reason I came this way is because I was like, oh, a route I haven't been to yet. Cool. Yeah, the bagworm Pokemon. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. Lady! It's literally what I'm gonna call this thing. catch for 18 and 17, so I'm just gonna go. What the hell is this? Undella Bay? Della Town? Black City? Like, we have Victory Road and Pokemon League up here, like, we got, what, three towns with no gym? Any of them? Forest. Do we do Lost Land Forest? I think so, right? Pretty sure we did do Lost Lord Forest. Yeah, I got a low punny there. Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna do the thing I'm supposed to do and go back to Opal... Opel... Pelicid. Pelican Town. change boxes in this game? No, right? That wasn't a thing anymore in Gen 5? I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna move some stuff around just in case. Plus, all these guys are going to my mains box, which is not good. I forgot I have an extra exit control. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I mean, I got plenty of good Pokemon, I, I can't complain too much. What the fuck? Why is the game hiccuping when I move things? 
not that one. It's strange. Okay, I did heal everybody, right? Yeah. What is this? I'm just gonna look at. Whoa, they got like futuristic doors and shit in this town? Oh shit, no. I meant to say no. What is with the architecture in this town? Good as a trainer, Team Plasma, sorry, guy in the opposite side. Well, I'm, now I'm gonna talk to him. Part of Team Plasma, it's strange. Okay. You guys are weird. Not you guys, you guys are great. Thank you. Lonely and sad. Oh my goodness, are they all just talking about Team Plasma shit? This is the gym. Drayden. Oh, Drayden's the gym leader here. Okay. That's cool. Battle house where you can have a rotation battle is next door. Thanks for letting me know. Destiny not. Okay, that's cool. I mean, I'm not, you know... <laughs> not gonna use it, huh? So I'm gonna say, yeah. Click on me, yeah, okay, thank you. Didn't check that, didn't check in here. Across, look like try a little harder. Uh huh. Your old time, you really need to charge because she may work. No. Grandpa Bach, long, long time ago, okay. I assume he means for, like, trading between games. Because I'm pretty sure in this one you could trade. There was a way to trade with, like, uh, Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. So that's the entire town. They can't go this way because, like, the bridge or something or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Probably have to beat the gym leader here first. Just a little further. Drayden's house. Oh, okay. This is it. Alright. I'll explain what you're holding is a light stone. The same Pokemon as seeing dragons and twin heroes. Trinity of Mirrors Thought Ideals and Trinity of Mirrors Rising and Dry Times are split in two. Rising of Ideals, Black Dragon, Usher, and New Veta World, Zekron, on the other hand, blah blah blah, blah. I was rushed around because the two of them were the same entity as Battle Rage, and honestly, a new one could be the way in the winter. I mean, I don't raise these conflict, but the two heroes start the battle again. I think it'll be alright, but we're going to live together. Uh huh, Lola's well, topic, everything we know, we have legendary Pokemon. It probably is Aller, Pokemon Jim might be waiting for you at the gym. Okay, cool, thank you. You're like happy, that's awesome. Okay, cool. In case you guys are wondering why I'm coaching Iris, okay. But if I was waiting, then I didn't let it hold this float stone. Why are you in like a football outfit? Use a try to see it make it work. Wait, what? A ring target? What? 
me hit even my move that would usually have no effect. Funny, so I can... Okay. Never heard of that item before. Alright. Well, this is the big, uh, the big moment. Get to see what type of, uh, gym this is gonna be. I forgot it gives you free water. So this would be a Dragon-type gym, typically? Yeah. Alright, but what is it now? Because all the gym types are randomized, so... Oh, is it a ghost-type gym? Sableye's ghost and dark, so... It could be either one. Psychic wouldn't do anything. Can I use bullet punch on this guy? Because Sableye doesn't have any weaknesses. That's kind of damaging. Yeah, you just gotta keep doing that. Disorienting. Either way, Stompers is not a good fit here. I guess Cactar? Unless it is a dark type gem. It is a dark type gem. Okay, good. So, uh, Louise would actually be better for this. Show, right? Yeah. Wait, wait, what was the second part of that? A switch on an arm, the dragon head will move, and you can move ahead. Okay. I mean, Gabbage also has bug bites, so. Oh, you actually have to use the jump. I see. And that's kind of needlessly convoluted. Yeah, you can't just stand on it. Okay. Again. 
Wait a sec. Can ghosts get hit by fighting in this game or no? No. Alright, so I have to use somebody else. Um, I guess Cactar, since he's gonna be probably doing the same shit that the other guy was doing. And Dark would be neutral? I mean, that means Grass would be too, but he's got that healing move, so... Just go with Faint Attack first. Eh, it's decent. Dragon does not resist fighting, though. Right? No. So... I'm just gonna do a Force Palm. I'm probably faster than him, yeah. And... Paralysis. That's gonna hurt. In case he heals. Nope. Swift. I mean, I'm not gonna use it really. Fresh waters, and, and after all, I'm just hang on. Pokemon, you have to be strong. See which type you are. No, I'm just doing a Nuzlocke, lady. Macro. Dark and flying is a pretty good combo. After all, fighting would be neutral, not super effective. Um, Nancy would probably be the best bet here. Yeah, yeah. Like also, Bug I think would be neutral as well because flying is this Bug I think. Yeah. Rock type would still be super effective though.
Faster than Sky. Force Bomb will still be super effective. Uh, I might want to switch though. Is it Cactar? Because Crowdon has like really high attack. And if he uses water... Cactar would resist it. If he uses dark, Cactar would also resist it. I'm gonna check and see what moves he would have at this point. Also, his special defense is kind of garbage. Let's see, level 42, he would have Night Slash. That's scary. Taunt, Swift, and Knock Off. So literally only dark type moves. was resistant, so I guess just force bomb. Still be super effective. And paralysis, nice. And you're gonna waste your move on taunt? Of course I'm gonna attack, dude. This gym sound confusing, but it's just been a straight line so far, basically. Too. I'm just gonna use Force Palm though. Damn it. The one other Pokemon that's Ghost and Dark type. Cactar. Actually, would Ghost resist Bug? Yeah. One really, I mean, Razor Leaf has a higher crit chance. Like, it's gonna be neutral. There we go. Which one's nasty plot? Special defense? Attack? 
special attack. Okay. Yeah, just raise the leaf again. Switch to... I guess Nancy... Yeah. left. Doesn't go anywhere, so... Same switch twice. That makes sense. Gotta be getting close to the end. I mean, if it's the gym leader after this one, I guess we can go a little bit long to actually finish the gym. Yeah. Haunt Crow. Yeah, I guess Nancy again. Oh, that's the guy I fought before. I still have a couple minutes. Would be nice to get the gym done in one episode. It's fine, I'll just force bomb it. Man. Mighty Anna. I should be faster than a Mighty Anna, so I'm just gonna drain punch him. Fuck. I hate pressure. Pressure is such like a bullshit fucking thing. If I use U turn, who would I switch to? I don't know, man. 
Louise is kind of the best fit here. There we go. All that HP. Just pressure just wastes PP. Six drain punches now? Okay. Fought you yet? I did. When did I fight her? Oh, that was like way earlier. Okay. There we go. Okay, we're at 36 minutes. Yeah, we could go a couple more minutes to do the gym leader fight. There's also the mayor. Okay. Oh, this is perfect. Wait. That's gonna be a one-shot kill. I mean, he's four times weak. Faster than me. Sneasel is quite fast. And Buzz. Another good dark and flying type. Uh, switch. I guess Nancy. Yeah. Sword dance first, but this might do it. No, it did not. Oh, that sucks. It's not gonna do very much, yeah. Fucking flinch. Drapion Dark? It's dark and Poison? Is that real? Yeah, Poison and Dark. Let's see, Poison and Dark in this game would have the weaknesses of... Not fighting. Ground. Just ground. So yeah, it's all up to Nancy, honestly. Poison would have no effect and dark would be resisted, so I'm just gonna do Earthquake. I've already done Swords Dance, so it should be a one-shot kill. Mm-hmm. I mean, Swords Dance, Stab, Earthquake from Excadrill? <laughs> That's massive damage. It's a base 100 move. Alright. It's 
cross poison. Cross poison is decent, right? Pass route 10, right? Uh huh. To 70. Crits land easier. Chance of poison. That's oh, pretty cool. I don't have a poison type to give it to, but it's kind of cool. Alright. That, damn it, I should have stayed in the gym. This dragon is tough as ever. I came to record Resurrect, but there's better to tell you it was I figured it out. I go with something, something worthy of more power than the way the energy becomes so strong. Storm Trainer, should I head next? Go to the Pokemon League. It's past Route 10, in case, you know, you weren't paying attention to the gym leader. Yep. Victory Road, finally made the Pokemon League. Should you show you around the Pokemon Center and King of the Town? Do you regret setting out on your Pokemon journey? Yes. Oh, that's okay. You have to tell me everything. <laughs> Here's a present for you. It's a Master Ball. Wow. Cool. Uh-huh. I know what it does. Hmm. See you later. Cool. Alright. Well, if I happen to get, like, a Legendary as a Wild encounter, I will definitely use that. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for stopping by. On the next one, we are going to go back to Route 10. And I already fought all the trainers there, so honestly, we're just going to go through the gate checks. And then hopefully catch something on Victory Road. So, exciting stuff. Um, yeah, and I've heard this track a million fucking times, but that Route 10 music... Also, can we go down Route 11 or no? Fuck. Alright. I'm guessing I have to beat the Elite... The... Pokemon League? It's probably the Elite Four in this game, but whatever. I don't know for certain. Are you fucking kidding me? What? Okay. The weather outside is frightful. Alright, so we are back here again on Route 10. The badass music. But yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. And before we get going, it is time for the book fact of the day. And today's is all about Sinchino, the scarf Pokemon. And a very cute Pokemon. Uh, the interesting Poke fact for this one comes from Ultra Moon once again, killing it with the interesting Pokedex entries. And this one says the oil that seeps from its body is really smooth. For people troubled by bad skin, this oil is an effective treatment. And I thought, that's interesting. There is no fucking way every single person. Like, it'll work for it, because, like, everybody, everybody's different. I'm sure there are some people that would just be straight up allergic to this oil. Or, for some people, it wouldn't help their skin type. You know? Like, there is no way. Just everybody with troubled skin, it's just better. But, again... Cool. I like Pokedex entries like this where it's an environmental, um, not like environmentalism, but like it talks about the less obvious things about a Pokemon, I guess. Where it's like, here's this weird quirk about this po, you know, rather than like. Sinchino is so cute that it's often, you know, seen in beauty contests for its lustrous 
presence or something. You know what I mean? It's just, um, it's just, it's just cool. It's just interesting. I like it. But anyway, thank you all for being here, guys, and a very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Crap Show members, which at the time of recording this, is just Novast Draconis. But if you want to be incredibly awesome, like Novast Draconis. Check out the uh, join button down below. Tier start at three bucks a month if you guys want to get into all the basic membership stuff. But it's totally optional. It's just you know stuff. But yeah. Until next time, everybody. Take care, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.